Virtual private networks extend private networks across an untrusted network. Usually this untrusted network is the internet. This can be used for secure communications between offices to share files, voice traffic, or really anything that can be transported over TCP IP. VPNs provide anti-replay, which prevents man-in-the-middle attacks, data integrity, which ensures packets aren't manipulated in transit, confidentiality, which means no one can eavesdrop on communications, and authentication, which proves that either endpoint is who they say they are. I'll use the internet for this example. A remote office will create a secure tunnel between itself and the central office. When doing so, the two routers will recreate what's called a VPN tunnel. The word tunnel is quite fitting, as once it's established, everything that moves through it will be protected, even over the internet. The term tunnel doesn't necessarily imply that all traffic moving through it is encrypted, but it's trivial to add encryption, thus it will be implied moving forward. Most site-to-site encryption is done via IPsec, which is a framework for securing IP networks. Being a framework, it has the ability to support many different protocols and levels of encryption. Once both sides have agreed upon a set of options, it will encrypt traffic as it leaves one site, then decrypt it at the far side for delivery to its final destination. IPsec VPNs can be created directly or via tunnel interfaces. Whenever possible, provided the hardware supports it, I always prefer a tunnel interface as it generally makes things simpler. A tunnel interface, like a generic routing encapsulation or GRE, is usually my go-to. A GRE tunnel creates a logical interface that routing policies can easily be applied to. By default, GRE tunnels provide no encryption. Once the tunnel is established, IPsec can be used to encrypt the GRE traffic as it moves between devices thus protecting everything that moves inside. Securing traffic between sites is just one piece of the puzzle. What can be done for road warriors? While IPsec has been used in the past, it's far more common to use something like the Transport Layer Security, or TLS, protocol for these remote user sessions. TLS is most often seen used to secure HTTPS communications. The Cisco AnyConnect client, which is a client software loaded on an end user's device, creates a secure connection to a remote location using TLS. I use VPN tunnels extensively. In fact, I can't imagine building a network where they aren't employed in some fashion.